say pictures are worth a thousand words and I don't think anyone needs to add to the pictures that we've just seen. Let's now move to Naivasha where our senior reporter Rita Tinina is standing by as President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected on Nara uh, at Narasha village. That is... ...owners of Ngati Farm. Rita Tinina, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Edith. Now, the president is not yet there, but what are the expectations of the people in that region? There have been skirmishes in the past couple of days. What is the mood like? Well, the mood, of course, uh, expectations are high here. I remember last Friday, uh, dozens of families were evicted uh, from their homes. Right now, residents here have been gathered waiting for the president to arrive. Our tents have been set up just meters away from where our houses were demolished. Both communities are present in this meeting. We are also told that yesterday, uh, elders from both communities were in Nairobi, where we understand they reached an MOU. And so when the president comes, Perhaps we're waiting to see whether uh, that MOU uh, will be revealed to the residents here. Uh, what are the details of the MOU? Remember, uh, this land has had a dispute for many years. Uh, we are told that it started in the uh, 1980s. And so far, several people have lost uh, their lives uh, in the fight for this land. And so expectations here are that finally this will be sorted out. Of course, since Monday, Tuesday, and even Wednesday, several leaders have been visiting affected residents here, including the Narok County governors of Samuel Tunai, mm -hmm. uh, the Narok County women uh, representatives, so if and And the message from the leaders has been that if at all uh, the Maasai community has to vacate this land, they want compensation in full. There is also word that uh, the move to evict uh, the Maasai from this land is part of a bigger approach to sell the land uh, to Kenjin. Uh, we are told that this land has shown uh, huge prospects for generating geothermal power. And, and so uh, in the background you can hear perhaps some noise, some helicopters uh, landing just behind me. But of course that's yeah. not the president. I think it is uh, a KWS uh, helicopter. So it is, we are just waiting for the president to arrive. All right. Uh, Rita, why is it so important for the president to be at this particular scene? There have been a lot of land squabbles around the country. Why Narasha? Well, Narasha is unique in the sense that uh, this area, in fact, Narasha is inside. For you to get to where uh, the land in dispute is located, you pass through uh, the uh, Olkara geothermal project, uh, the uh, plant number one and plant number two to get here. So if uh, the government in the long run hopes to expand that project, uh, which uh, costs or runs into billions of shillings, perhaps they need to uh, tap into the land that is occupied by the Maasai here. As I mentioned earlier, we are told that uh, some uh, argue that uh, the move to evict the Maasai uh, will eventually see the land being sold to Kenjin for the expansion of the geothermal project. So perhaps that's why the government is taking keen interest in this. Right. Remember earlier in the week in Cerno, uh, the interior cabinet secretary, uh, Joseph Olelenko, was here, the energy the minister, uh, cabinet secretary, rather, David Chiruchiro, was also here. So it, it appears the government is taking keen interest in this. And as you mentioned, it is. Uh, dozens of evictions take place in various parts of the country. But the fact that this is just near the uh, geothermal power plant perhaps is why the government uh, is interested in this. All right. Thank you very much, Rita Tinina. She is joining us from Naivasha, uh, Narasha village to be exact, where she's waiting for President Uhuru Kenyatta to arrive on what has been a land of controversy, if you like, between the Maasai community and the owners of Ngati Farm. Tunya.